Okay, hyperbola, section 10.5. All I need you to do in this section is just graph. If they ask you for any other information, like asymptotes, their equations, don't do that. I just want you to do what I'm doing on the next two pages for the graphs. So, their standard form looks a lot like ellipse, except right here, the minus, okay? As far as graphing, it does a little few things different, too, so make sure you take good notes here. Do this with me. You still want to go grab that center point, just like we do with ellipse and circles, and then we're going to take these. They tell us what to do underneath. The x-axis goes this direction, y-axis goes here. But there's some other stuff here, so make sure you take good notes. So center point is at 5, and I'll write it over here because that's Five negative four. So go to five negative four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, it's just like we did with ellipse. We're going to go out those different axes, those points. So on the X, we're going to go out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, and then up and down. What do you think? Four. four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, but stop. Don't draw any lips. I need you to take those four outer points and I need you to connect them into a rectangle. Watch and use dotted dash lines. Okay, so here we go. you're sitting there watching this video going, Miss Rock's playing. She's crazy. No, you got to do this rectangle, okay? The next thing you got to do is draw the asymptotes. The asymptotes for this problem are the diagonals of the rectangle. And they've got to extend outside the rectangle. Okay, so it'd be from here to here, right? Go through that point, though. keeps going, okay? You got that one, and then you got this one. The green is your hyperboles, okay? So you do a whole lot of sketching before you even get to the hyperboles. But here's what you got to be careful about. Most of you will remember to do the rectangle, hopefully, and then the asymptotes. But here's where you're going to be like, which way do I make my hyperbola? Because this X came first, we had right and left. I want to do another hyperbola where the Y comes first, and you're going to see that hyperbola goes up and down. But as far as graphing, it's still the same. But you know what they're going to do. Guess who's going to be in the front here? The Y. So when you go to get that first point, the center point, remember, Okay, be careful with that. So the center point for this one, what's it gonna be, Jamie? Oh goodness. Okay, be careful. Negative four, two. Yes. Well, that's how you get started with everything. Are. So negative four, and then up two. So that's like the center of our rectangle we're about to draw. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go up and down because this is right underneath the Y. Five, one, 
Five. Then right and left, how much? Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Do I draw an ellipse? No, you no. do a rectangle. You do a rectangle, then you do those little diagonals, which are called asymptotes, and then we'll decide what we're going to do from there. Okay. Which way do my hyperbolas go? Up and down. Up and down. Okay. And so I'll go to I'll do purple this time. So we're gonna go that way. 